There's been a number of times over the past few months that I've almost got very frustrated keep moving these tyres around. I made them at the start of winter and as you can see we gave them their first test in sloppy mud but I refused to dismantle them and take the deadly spikes out because I knew the perfect test for them would be on ice. We had a dumping of snow about a week ago and there was quite a bit to be fair and over the last week it's frozen and it's turned to ice, which I think provides the perfect opportunity to give these studded tyres a test. But before we do that, let's backtrack as to why I've actually got these built up and sitting around in my garage. Around October time, the trousers started getting wet and I think we'd had a really heavy downpour of rain, so everywhere becomes super slick and slippery. And I decided at that point, I want to go riding, but how do I get ultimate grip? So that's where the invention of these came up. The experiment was interesting. The first rendition was a bit of a disaster because I didn't provide enough protection on the inside of the tire. So therefore we kept getting pinch flats. So we went back to the drawing board. We went and bought a really thick tire liner for the inside, which prevented the, the nails or screws from coming through and piercing the inner tube. We put them on the e-bike, it provided plenty of grip, we'd done some fun lines, fun challenges, and I was actually blown away. We did a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with my e-bike using these tyres and cars with normal tyres, and there was quite a bit of difference. And that's why I'm excited for today, because I want to try it on the ice. The only thing I've got to decide is, I don't know what bike to try to fit them to, because in the last video, I received my new e-bike, however, I'm way too scared to fit these anywhere near it because I don't want them to hit the frame or any chance of any damage on this new beast because I've only ridden it once and I absolutely love it and I'd hate to see it get a scratch from some studded tyres. We're going to take a little look through my library of bicycles so we can decide what to use. So we've ruled out the e-bike. The Ghost, that could be quite fun, that's definitely an option, but I've got my eyes on, I think, the Lapierre Slope Duro because it's a playful bike. So if we're just testing it in like a car park or on a few little slopes, we're going to be able to do a few little tricks with that. Maybe even hit the kicker ramp, which would be awesome. Let's get the Slope Duro bike out and start fitting in these horrible tyres. The last action that this bike saw was in Mexico at the Freeride Festival. So, I mean, there's still Mexican dust on it and that's gonna be washed off and probably switched for some salt and grip from our roads. Before we build that up, I wanna show you guys and remind you that I'm doing a muck off e-bike essentials kit giveaway over on my Instagram. Go check it out, enter, follow the instructions. There's a good chance of any of you winning it and I'll announce the winner on Christmas day. Back to the bike build. So we've got to switch these wheels around. We've got to change the derailleur because I'm sharing one with the downhill bike and then we can worry about fitting the dreaded studded front tire. We've stumbled across a problem which I didn't think would happen. There's no clearance, it doesn't fit. Which I'm surprised about because this is a 29 inch bike standard and that's a 27 and a half inch wheel. So you'd think there'd be that extra room but the, the screws on the side, they're hitting the frame which obviously can't happen. Looking at my other bikes, I don't actually think it's gonna go in any of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit it to the e-bike which we originally did the first video on because I know that it works on that setup. So I'm gonna clap and this is all going to be transformed. Problem averted, we're back on track and we're just in time for me to try and wrestle the front tire on. Here we go, the fight is about to start. I'm hoping it's gonna be an easy process but I'm not holding my breath either. Oh, like half on. That wasn't too bad. If the other half is that easy, I'll be stoked. But it's when you get to the death of it and you're trying to get that last bit on, you can't push on the tire because otherwise you get impaled. It's like purposely putting your hand in a mouse trap. It sucks. Okay. Does that hurt? Yeah, do you want to try? No. Ah. <laughs> you just keep putting random. Things I don't really want to use the tire levers because I don't want to pinch the tube. So I've got to take it off and do it again. So I've got to suffer. <laughs> oh. oh, it's on. The tire was actually quite a loose one to fit, which is so lucky. I think it might have been that one which was hard, which is probably why I didn't take it off last time. The studded bike is reborn. It lives once again. It needs testing. This video is not about being in here, stuck in the workshop. We need to get out there on the ice and see if the studs actually perform how I'm expecting and how you guys are probably hoping. We've made it to the test location which seems perfect because 
We've got a nice layer of smooth ice. We've got a stranded car, which shows how slippery it is because they can't get back up the hill. And it's raining, which is going to make the surface extra slippy on top. Right, I'm on the ice rink. Going to go and see just how slippy it is. <laughs> this bit's insane. Right, let's get the bike. We know it's slippy. What we don't know is what grip is available. It's so good. It is incredible. <laughs> oh, it digs in. So good. Come down there to the slipperiest bit and look at how much it's gripping. Oh my God. <laughs> this is you trying to walk on it. Right here. Oh my god. That's so bad. Oh! You made a hole! It's insane. Oh my god, look. There's a hole. He's doing stoppies on ice. That's insane, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If that lady had iced tires, her commute would be not just pleasant, it'd actually be enjoyable. Oh yeah, uh oh. This is Superman on ice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place to be. It's the slippiest bit for sure. Car stranded down there, cyclists wobbling around. That car almost got stuck. We're having the time of our lives on this thing. What did you want me to do? A skid? Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, just I see it see pull it. in. Yeah. Okay. So good, isn't it? Oh, oh, the oh, look at that! It's like an ice ring. Yeah. That's so sick. The car behind me is having a go at getting out. That is not going to move. It's got slippery, it's raining quite heavy now, and it's obviously below minus, so it's freezing. And it's like a freshly Zambonied ice rink, it's insane. I'm actually going to do my impression of that trying to get up the hill. Yeah. That's how well this is hooking up, people. We hit road, which is insane, insane. Got, it's got slick, it's got very, very slick. And I'm gonna wrap this video up there. That has honestly been so fun. I was so frustrated at the workshop when it failed at the start. I was like, no, it really puts a downer on it, but we persisted and I'm so glad we did. And if you've got a snow day, Christmas holidays coming up, nothing to do. Honestly, I couldn't recommend trying this more. It's so much fun. I'm probably just gonna keep playing off camera for 10 minutes. And the condition of the tires, they're better than they were. They've had a clean. My screws are a bit long. 
that one's sort of gone on the side a bit but it's actually hooking up so good and I'm so stoked. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a